The perfect racket began with an idea, a moment in time, an opportunity, with the belief in a technical revolution at the intersection between human and design. More efficient, more flexible, a tool to achieve what humans all over the world have been dreaming about ever since they picked up a tennis racket. Not just to hit a pristine yellow felt ball over a net, but freedom, nothing more, nothing less. Wait, 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 who are you and what are you talking about? I thought I was here to talk about this amazing new racket that we made. Easy to play, forgiving, just a complete no-brainer. That's Tiffany. Tiffany has developed the new racket. Well, that's not really true. I'm in charge of product management. So for this racket, we had a clear focus on creating something unique and really easy to play. We wanted you to be able to pick it up and be ready to play right away. It gives you power, a precise plow through, and especially a really nice impact feel and sound where you're just gonna want to make the next shot. We identified a potential for a racket with a certain playability that is not yet offered in the market. But what if the formula were found to create the racket that covers it all? All pieces are aligned perfectly in the racket. The frame, the string bed, the geometry, the grommets, everything's perfect. The candle on the cake, the cherry on the pie. Stefan, at what point in the process did you say, boom, we've got this? Ideally, it's when the consumer gets the racket, hits his first ball, puts a smile on his face and says, boom. This is the playground, the prototype production. This is where the magic happens. Under big pressure of the advanced development from morning to late at night, all the blueprints are being realized and executed in hard-bitten analysis with the matter. For that, specific know-how is needed to identify the technical sketches from development. That's Thomas. He developed the new racket. Na ja, das stimmt so nicht ganz. Wir da in der Produktion sind verantwortlich, um Prototypen zum fertigen. Tell us, how long does it take to build such a racket? Ja, das kommt auf die Komplexität von einem Schläger drauf an, ob was Neues, was Spezielles verbaut ist. Dann können wir am Montag die Schläger definieren, am Dienstag produzieren und am Mittwoch kann sie zum Spiel testen. Three days, one racket, boom! Ja, das stimmt nicht ganz so. Aber wenn alles passt, dann ist es relativ einfach, zum das umzusetzen. The right impact feel is really important for the athlete. The players must feel comfortable and confident in the racket and their strokes. The thing is that feeling isn't really measurable, so it's really individual, it's very complex, and it's really hard to put it into words. Durch unsere Schnelligkeit unserer Prototypenproduktion haben wir von einem Modell zehn verschiedene Geometrievarianten machen können, was natürlich bedeutet, es ist ein enormer Testaufwand. Servus, Thomas. Das ist Martin. Das ist der Martin. Martin, wie ist es gelaufen? Ah, da war nichts dabei damals. Oh. Ich muss gleich wieder haben. Sorry, Martin, für den Moment den Testaufwand, den du machen musst. Aber schau mal, die hätten noch eine Szene für dich. Super, Thomas, danke. Viel Spaß, Martin. Testing. One of the toughest disciplines in racket production. Rackets are being analyzed tediously. In every angle, every meter on the court. With every speed to the smallest of detail. So all of those seem to work pretty well individually. Now we just need to make sure that we put them all into one harmonic product. What's your part in the whole development process? I'm responsible for the R&D inline development team. We are finalizing the record development together with our product management, design and testing team. We are fine tuning all performance relevant technical parameters of the record, which are details in record geometry, string pattern, grommet set, engineering of the carbon construction and record specifications like weight, balance, swing weight. 
The smallest changes of one of these parameters can have a big impact on the final playability of the racket. In the inline development phase for this specific racket, we created more than 50 different prototypes. Why is it so hard to find the right design? Well, the huge amount of factors that have to be considered during the designing and the developing process are target groups, briefing, former models, competitor products. So what we have learned that most of our customers are recognize the colors, but not necessarily remember the name of their record. Now you, Thorsten, what was your personal boom moment? My boom moment, surprise, I found the perfect color.